All right, so because of this global pandemic, you know, not all of us have the money to buy a gaming PC or a gaming laptop. Some of us have to stick with our low-spec laptops that we use for school. But even with this problem, I decided to go ahead and search for ways I could run games such as Path of Exile, which is a game that I like to play on my my uh, my console. But I'm not. I don't have my console right now, so I have my, I have my laptop. So I'm looking for ways so I can run it on my laptop. Before I apply the method I'm going to teach you today, Path of Exile ran very poorly. It crashed a lot of the times. Um, it just comes, sometimes I'll be playing it just disconnects. And even even with the method I'm going to teach you, it still doesn't run the best. I will agree, but it still makes the game very playable for almost anybody. So not only Path, you can do this for any game. For example. League of Legends as well. Le League of Legends runs quite well, but sometimes the, when you go into the loading screen to get into the game, it takes a long time. Sometimes the games even, they even start before I um, actually get into the game. That's how long it takes to load because of my low spec, um, my low spec laptop. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to look at the specs on my laptop right now. The specs on my laptop are is that I have a Intel Core i3 processor, which is I guess better than some laptops, honestly. Um, I have eight gig eight gigs worth of RAM, which is pretty good. Some some people only have four, which is pretty good as well. Um, and I have a Intel Graphics 620, which of course most laptops come with. Not that great for running games. They can run simple games. Like Crunchy.io, which is a really good FPS game, but anything more than that, it's, it's kind of a struggle. So, I'm going to show you the method of how to run even games that shouldn't be able to be run on your laptop. On your laptop. So, uh, I want to open up any game that you want to play. Of course, the, the first, first things first. The game cannot be like a, com a game that literally just cannot run on your computer, right? A, gra a very graphic intensive game, I think a lot of that definitely just will not or will not be able to play, right? It has to be a game like maybe like Path of Exile that's just a little bit above my laptop. My laptop has a little bit of a hard time running it. So I can make a, make a few adjustments so I can run it. So, of course, don't, don't, please don't try to run anything that you, your laptop just literally can't run, alright? So open up the game that you want to play. Um, in the example in the background, I'm, I'm, I should be using Path of Exile as an example. Sorry for the, the noises in the background. And what you're going to do is that you're going to turn down all the graphics. Like, make it as low as possible. So you're gonna so texture quality turn that as low as you can. Facing turn it off. Um, shadows turn it off. And just turn it down. Turn turn on all as much graphics as you can. As long as it doesn't make the game completely unplayable, just turn it down. You want you want to make sure that the game itself is taking up as little bit of resources from the computer as possible. So, which means that if you turn on your graphics, your 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 computer has to spend the computer spends less resources processing stuff. So that that you want to you want to make it as low as you possibly can, which also includes um, your resolution, right? So, for some games, re higher higher resolution is better, which is uh, and if if that's the case, then it's fine. But for again, like Path of Exile, um, where I can turn on the, turn on the resolution a little bit, not that I can turn the resolution down and still be happy and still play the game. I t I I, t I turn it down to like 1800 by 6 1800 800 by 600, which is pretty low and it's not that it's not the best. It's not not the most enjoyable, but it's it makes the game very playable, and I, in when I, I can play the game very smoothly, right? So and it also takes less resources when the resolution is that small. So that's it's all that matter as well. So turn on the graphics and uh, turn.
turned on the revolution. It, it, it might not be the best, but it's a sacrifice you're going to have to make for so you can play the game a lot better. And so it takes less resources from your computer. All right, so, well, the next step is while the game is running right now, so you turn on all the graphics, the game is still running on the screen, but maybe you're in the menu and you literally just can't go into the game. If you go into the game, the FPS is going to drop way too far and it's probably going to crash. What, I, what you're going to do is that you're going to go into, you're going to click your task, you right click your taskbar and go into task manager, right? Everybody knows task manager, it's a simple program, you can use the end task, whatever. So, as long as you're on Windows 10, I think it works on Windows 8 as well. Maybe, don't quote me on that. But, if it, hopefully on Windows 10. <laughs> and, while the game is running, on hopefully, maybe you have two monitors or... What am I talking about, two monitors? What, what I like when you don't have two monitors? But even, just, just, take, just take it down from a full screen or take it on the, win, take it on the, the game window. Click, go into your taskbar and then once you go into the once they make it um more details right so don't use the simple one the small square make it bigger and you're going to see processes performance app history startup users and you're going to see details so i want you to go into details so go into details and then want you to scroll down and find the game so i'm playing path of exile so I would go down to find the path of exile launcher. I want to find the game, right? Any 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 game that you that you're playing right now, doesn't matter. Find it. Hover over it and right click it. And then you're going to see a small pop up mini pop up, <coughs> obviously. And then you're going to see two, there's two things I want to focus on. Want, you're going to see set affinity and you're going to see set priority. So the set affinity one just shows how many, um, how many CPUs that the, that the program can use. More than likely not, if you're going to run a video game, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to allow all the processors. So you don't have to worry about that. So that, that's more than likely not, that, that's not what they're going to worry about. Right, but check it just in case. And then you're gonna go back and go back into the same pop-up menu and you're gonna see set priority now. For video games, your computer, your my computer normally prioritizes as normal, right? So which is okay, it, it, which is most programs, honestly, but for a video game you want your computer to prioritize that that um, program or that video game right so you're going you're going to say low below normal normal above normal high and you're going to show one in real time don't touch real time um, i heard it causes a, i've read that it causes a lot of problems or could cause a lot of problems i haven't tried it i have no clue what kind of problems it could cause but just to be on the safe side just leave real time the one you're going to look at is high and above normal obviously you're going to choose more, more, most people are going to choose high so just click high and then all the resources on your computer is going to be prioritized into running this game right so if, if you open any other programs in the background for example a browser it's not going to be as high priority as the big so it's might the browser might the browser itself might run very slowly so so most of the time for me what i do is that i just while I'm playing the game, I might watch YouTube on my phone instead of trying to watch YouTube on my television screen. Alright, because I'm, I'm using my laptop screen and a television screen right now. So, so that it does, the computer itself doesn't have to concern itself about anything, just running this game, right? So, that that's basically how you do it. it for the most part, it's, games are going to go from stuttering to running pretty well pretty smooth the 20 fps probably up to 30 if 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 your if your look is very good and it also depends on the game for, as i said don't run games that your, your laptop literally just can't handle right sorry about that discord um but i have a few disclaimers 
which, which was, that was the first one which is don't run games that you literally just can't run and another and the other disclaimer I'm going to say is that you should be very careful your laptop still cannot handle the game because remember it doesn't it's not does not meet the minimum required um requirements i should say sorry so it it might run a computer really hot right so what i recommend is that play for an hour maybe two depending on how um strenuous the game is on your computer and give your computer a break that's it i hope you enjoy this method and i hope it you know helps you to play a game on, on your low spec laptop but as i said just be careful i i've been i've been doing it for a few days now i haven't seen any major issues with my laptop so i, I guess you're kind of doing it at your own risk but as long as you give it a break let your computer breeze out once in a while shouldn't be a problem so all right hope you enjoyed the video this is my new YouTube. This is my new brand new YouTube channel. This is my first video. I hope you like it. Please like the video, subscribe. I'm um, gonna post a lot more videos. Hope probably about you know video games and uh, probably a, a healthy video game life. Probably maybe I, I'm not sure exactly where this channel is gonna go, but I hope you join me for the journey and see where it goes. So like, subscribe, comment if you have, if you have a question or if, if you think that it's very harmful to the computer, comment and maybe I'll make an update video. Thanks, thanks for watching the video. Again, like, subscribe and I'm out. Peace.